In this upcoming video and some future videos, uh, you're going to see some rock chuck dispatching, varmint dispatching. Uh, out here in the west, uh, a tremendous amount of damage to crops and pastures, horses, cows, uh, broken legs, that type of thing can happen. Uh, let alone the root structure uh, from burrowing animals can be uh, destroyed, especially like in an alfalfa field. Uh, so out here we, we hunt varmints and we dispatch them to keep, the, to keep control of the animal population. Uh, it, is, it is what we naturally do to protect those crops and, and pasture lands. I kind of want to go over to, with you the rifle that I used in this upcoming hunt, which is my 24 inch 6.5 Grendel, uh, shooting a 100 grain uh, VMAX type of bullet. Uh, in a previous video I showed you my 20 inch and uh, I was about 50-50 I guess in my shots. Well the 24 inch is, is more accurate, uh, it gives greater velocity therefore you can extend the maximum point blank range uh, that you can focus on an animal about out to 250 yards before you have to calculate your holdovers. Uh, I also want you to kind of go to some websites and read, read up more about rock chucks. Uh, uh, Varmeter.com magazine, an online magazine uh, by uh, a YouTube uh, editor, is is very thorough on the types of firearms that they use, and they they hunt not only rock chucks and ground squirrels, but also coyotes and and various types of vermin. And it's a good read, so I suggest that you do subscribe to their YouTube channel and even their uh, Varmeter.com online magazine. Uh, rock chucks you can also read about. Uh, they are an invasive species uh, and uh, you know we try to control them. So keep in mind that the upcoming video is going to involve killing and dispatching of these animals and so if you're not comfortable with that then now's the time to leave uh, because I am going to show some rather graphic uh, types of situation that people might not be comfortable with. But stick around. Here comes the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I got a chance today to, in between rainstorms, to get out and see if there's any rock chucks running around. So if I see some and get some shoot shots at them, you'll be able to see it if they stay long enough for me to get the camera that you're looking at me on, uh, positioned, get the shot right, and take it. So hang around, folks. I hope there's some shots for you. Finally got a little s sunshine. Uh, it's been raining for the past week. I did come out shortly in between rainstorms last week and uh, did get five rock chucks uh, with this Grendel. This is my 24 inch Grendel, not the 20 inch that you saw before where I had uh, about 50% misses. Uh, this one's a lot more accurate and capable of getting it more out to about 350 yards. Uh, if I get a couple of shots you'll see them. Okay, I think you can see that hay alfalfa field out there that's just now springing up. That's like uh, dessert to these rock chucks. So along that fence line that you can see there, they'll be scurrying along back and forth to the various rocks. I've only seen about two or three uh, because we are going to have another storm come in. But, uh, you know, we'll kind of hang around, get some shots. It's a pretty day today. All right, hang on, folks. Okay, you see them right there on that rock. You can barely make them out. I'd say close to 260 yards. All right, we'll see what happens. Kind of a tree in the way.
All right, hope you saw that. Oh, I hope you saw that shot. Uh, problem with a little heavier bullet juiced up in this 6.5 Grendel is uh, there's a momentary jump in the scope to I'm not sure if I hit them right away unless they go flying. Uh, so, you know, a lighter 223, 22 250 with absolutely no recoil. Uh, you can see them right in the scope as you hit them. All right, well, hope you saw that. All right, I think you can see there's quite a little family right there on that pipe. Oh, roughly 280 yards away. But I need them to get a shooting solution so to get away from that pipe so that I don't necessarily hit it. So hang on folks, we'll just kind of see if they'll get a distance between them and the pipe so I can get a shot. Hang on. There's one that came out. Let's go ahead and see if it'll hold on long enough for me to get a shot. Got him. Let's see how far that is. I reckon 250 yards, maybe 220. You'll see it. Okay, hang on. We'll see if another will come out. Well, that's kind of what I'm up against. Uh, they won't get away from that pipe for me to get a clean shot. I think you can see that little one squirreling around there. But if they come out, give me a shot opportunity. Hopefully get it on video for you. Hang on. Right there by that rock. <laughs> well, give him a good scare. He might grow up a little bit, get a little bigger. Well, there you go, folks. Kind of a fun day. Uh, the Grendel did a pretty good job. Took six shots, got four. Uh, it's pretty good for me. Uh, ranges are anywhere between 180 to about 280 yards. So uh, I could pretty much hold on or just a little bit over. But one thing that was remarkable that uh, I was able to discover was on these 100 grain ELDMs, they don't act like a varmint bullet. They pretty much just went straight through. Uh, didn't blow the animal up like, uh, you know, the normal uh, VMAX bullets do. So that match bullet might be, you know, tough enough uh, for an even larger game. Uh, so give me your feedback on that, on whether or not you've used the, the ELDM bullets on, on deer or something, and how did it work. But no matter what, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give me a thumbs up, if you will. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends, I appreciate you very much, but no matter what, God bless you all. See you next time. Goodbye.